Hello, this is a tutorial about variables in C++. First of all, the definition of variables is like this. A variable is a name for a place in a computer's memory where you store some data. So it's the name where you can store data and you can you can get the data and you can set the data. Let's, let's illustrate this first using a sugar jar. The sugar jar is in a kitchen. Let's say that we want to ask somebody to bring some sugar from the sugar jar. Uh, one way to do it is to, is to tell the latitude and longitude coordinates like this. So say that okay here is the here are the coordinates of the of the place where where the sugar is. Can you please go to this coordinate and find me some sugar from there? Okay that would be quite difficult. So easier way would be to name it so name it as a sugar jar and say that uh, please can you bring me some sugar from sugar jar so it has a name that's much easier so let's go to C++ and see how it is there so in C++ we can create an integer like this on the left hand side we are we are telling that what is the type of the variable and this is the name of the variable the name can be anything. We can even put here John or something. But let's keep it short and just put A. Integer type means that it's any whole number, any minus or positive whole number or zero. Okay, we can we can now set A's value to something. Let's set A to 5. So after this line A contains value 5 and if we call a uh, after this line anywhere here we will get 5. Let's create another variable b and then let's set b to a. Okay now a's val current value is 5 so 5 goes here and because we are assigning b so B becomes 5 now after this line. One more thing here is that when we create a variable like this on this line here because we haven't initialized A so A's value is undefined at the moment so we don't know what A's value is here, like here for example if we are calling A here we don't know what it is it's undefined it can be anything basically Let's go. I have drawn a picture about this in the memory, so let's go and see how it looks in a memory, in a RAM memory. So here is the RAM memory. It contains uh, uh, all kind of numbers. So when we create an integer, um, <coughs> what happens is that the program will allocate an integer slot somewhere from the memory. Uh, it has an address. Let's say that in this in this in this uh, this time, A's address is 368. So, into on the, into this slot can go any integer. So the size of this this memory slot here is integer size. And uh, this uh, when we create A, obviously this this value is undefined. So next we are setting value a to five. So let's see on what let's see what happens then. It's the picture two. So now the program will find find what is a's address. It was three hundred sixty eight, and it will put five there. This one put here. Next we are creating b. It's here. So again same way as as we created a the same way somewhere from somewhere in the memory uh, the program will allocate in the in the center slot and it has a new address something we don't know let's say 371 so now B whenever we call B or want to get B's value it will be taken from here or it will be put here okay and here we are setting B 
to A. What happens now is in picture, in picture number four, we can see that that first first the program will will go and see what is the A's current value. It will find it from the address 368, so it will go to that address and it will check what is the content of that address and it is 5 then it will go and it will find where is the in what address B is located at B is located at 371 so it goes there and it puts this value from here it, it copies this value and puts it here so that's 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 why B is now permanently set to 5 here. One more thing here is that these these variables as we already saw they have addresses. So let's let's quickly check that what is for example the address of address of A. <coughs> so I will create a new variable so just to store the address of A. So to get to get the address of A we use the ampersand sign, so ampersand A. So this one returns the address of A. But because the address of A, the type is something else than integer, we have to we have to um, change it to integer and we can do it like this. At this uh, stage we don't really need to know what, what exactly here happens just to know that it will change this this to integer so we can print it. So let's put here um, one breakpoint so we can see what value this address A has. I'm debugging this program now so I press this one and here we can see that the address of A contains value 2293572. So this is the address of A currently in the memory. Okay, and let's stop this program. Yes, that's all I wanted to say this time. Uh, thank you for watching.